Hey YouTube, this is Paul again, uh, as promised, another video update, bit more in-depth information now on my tank uh, and what else is in there and such like. So what I want to talk you through first is my filter, I know we briefly covered this yesterday, but I've managed to get the box out and stuff, uh, there it is, the Aqueous Aqua 1 7 Series Pro. Uh, what I found with this filter is it's very easy to put the media in and out, clean it, but repriming it is very hard work. You know, it can take me 10 15 minutes to get all the air out of it. So, if I were going for a canister filter again, probably not do that. Probably not buy one of these again. Just something for you to bear in mind. Uh, then, onto the air pump, it's just a basic bog standard dual port air pump it's very noisy I don't know if you can hear that in the background I'm in a way uh, then there's a heater it's a 100 watt aqua one uh, great heater way better than the 100 watt dual heater that came as standard with a tank I've, uh, just use that now for heating up my water before applying it to the tank so it's at the same temperature um, I talked to you a little yesterday about the moving bed filter that I hid in the way inside and what I'm using for my media in there I don't know if you can see it is the Halex media which is there I've just put it alongside UK pound coin just so you can get a feel for quite how small it is I was shocked when it arrived at how small that was but great media great circulation moves nicely all I've got that inside is a is a water bottle inside and you can't see that what I've done I've also got from Time Valley Aquatics some of the peat balls that you've probably seen on Ponguru's site what I use them for is a bit of pH stabilisation create that black water condition these are great, they don't stain your water unless you squeeze them you know, I'll give them a squeeze every couple of weeks uh, also the almond leaf that's great for your pH and also for your breeding of your fish it's uh, got something to do with the qualities of it help protect the eggs and these things these are the bacteria balls that Bonguru supplies with all his media. Uh, these things are awesome for setting up any new filtration system. I use these in the little moving bed. I also use these in the canister. Uh, he supplies those free with the media it provides. So over to what I'm feeding on. I've not got the frozen food out. Everybody knows what that is. I'm just using brine shrimp and frozen bloodworm but I've got the Hikari micro pellets um, for the tetras but also the angelfish love these go mad for them great protein content I think something like 45 percent then I've just got a, a, a standard flake but that's about 35 percent protein so I don't know if you can see that I don't think you can yeah and then I'll drop a couple of catfish pellets in I only put two or three of those in they keep the corries happy at the bottom there's my RO water filter I've not got the deionizing unit across the top there I've only got the four stage one but that's the box it comes in so all that kit is in that tank um, yeah it's looking good so inside the tank, I wanted to talk a little bit about the plants. Guys, I'm no plant expert, but I've got some swords, some moss balls, I've got the Java moss, bought that online off eBay, buy most of my stuff on eBay, to shop around on eBay, never rush in and buy these things from your local fish store, see what you like, go home, research them on the internet, you can find things 
10, 20, 30 pounds cheaper uh, on eBay. So yeah, lots of moss balls. They seem to be growing. I don't know if they're supposed to do that. I don't know if it's me. It could all be in my head. Yeah. So I did mention I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the stuff that I pre-bought for me this summer tank project. So let's move around to that now. What I've got, I've bought two of the Fluval Q2 air pumps because obviously it's going to be a, a big tank, a big sump, it's going to be quite an high demand for oxygen. Uh, I've bought the five way manifolds, I've got two of those, so one for each filter. I've got 12 of that size air stone on order. I've bought five meters of black, I think it's a silicon rubber hose. All I'll do with that is that'll be the stuff that's on show in the tank, but my background on my tank that's coming in the summer is black acrylic, so it shouldn't be seen. I'm going for a minimalist look in the tank. I've also bought two of the EM Jaeger heaters. It's a 300 watt. This is really long. I was quite surprised at how tall that was. Uh, and I bought a 200 watt as well. Just to keep stops everything running at maximum all the time, tend to get a bit of longevity out of the life of it. So, like I say, I've not used them. I have plugged in the air pump. Couldn't believe how quiet that was. So what I've done is I've ordered a Q.5 for this tank to replace the cheap box standard air pump which I'll use in my RO water drum when I get that system all up and running just to keep that water oxygenated uh, and to help mix in the remineralizing agent yeah so let me know what you think guys uh, rate comment or subscribe thanks once again thanks to my subscribers hope you enjoyed the video